Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have t multiplied by t multiplied by t divided by t plus t plus t and it is equals to 2. So we solve this problem for the values of t only. Okay. Uh, so here we will first apply this nice exponent law in the numerator term. You know that if you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of p so if you have uh, some numbers which is multiplied in this way uh, then uh, you see here if the basis of all these numbers are same so we create it we can add its exponent it will be written as a to the power of m plus n plus p so according to uh, this exponent law we will just equate the exponents of this term uh, and it will be written as so you see here the basis of all these four terms are same so we add its exponents and all of these are exponent is one so it will be written as t to the power of one plus one plus one plus one and it is divided by this is a four times of t and we write it as four times of t is equals to two so now here uh, in the next step we need more simplifications and uh, you see here we have this will be written as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to t to the power of 4 divided by 4 times of t and this is equals to 8 uh, and here we can apply another exponent law you see here the exponent of this t is 1 and we will apply here this exponent law if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n it is written as a to the power of m minus n so according to this exponent law we will just subtract the exponent of the denominator term uh, by the nominator term and it will be written as t to the power of 4 minus 1 divided by 4 is equals to 8 uh, sorry this is this exponent is over 2 so uh, the, here you have uh, 2 only okay uh, and now here in the next step uh, we uh, write here this will be written as t cubed equals to when we move this 4 in the right hand side then it will be written as 4 to the 8 so uh, we have the final simplified form of the given equation is t cubed equals to 8 and now here we need to move this 8 in the left hand side and it will be written as t cubed minus 8 equals to 0 so further we again rewrite this equation as t cubed minus we write this 8 into the prime factors form and the prime factors are 2 cubed equals to 0 and here we will apply the nice cubic formula uh, so that uh, it will be written as a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we will apply this nice cubic formula to the above equation so that after applying this formula our above equation is written as t minus 2 times of t square plus 2t plus 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so this is uh, the uh, uh, form of equation after applying this nice cubic formula so here we need more simplifications and uh, we write this uh, uh, equation as t minus 2 times of t square plus 2t plus this 2 square equals to 4 and this equation whole equals to 0 and now in the next step we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we write t minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we will write t square plus 2t plus 4 equals to 0. So from this equation uh, here we will uh, get the value of t is equals to 2 uh, and this is the first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and you see here this is quadratic with variable t so here we will apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation uh, so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c is equals to 4 and our quadratic formula is stated as t is equals to minus b plus minus 
स्केर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्र माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए दिस इज द आवर क्वाड्रेट सो नो हेयर फर्स्ट वी सप्रीट्यूट ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए बी एंड सी इन दिस फॉर्मूला एंड इट विल बी रिटर्न एज टी इज इक्वल टू दिस इज माइनस बी द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज टू सो वैन यू पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर इट विल बी रिटर्न एज माइनस टू प्लस माइनस स्केयर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्र बी इज टू स्क्र माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए इज वन एंड सी इज फोर एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए सो हेयर आवर ए इज इक्वल टू वन एंड नाउ हेयर इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी नीड मोर सिंप्लीफिकेशन एंड वी विल राइट इट एज टी इज इक्वल टू दिस इज माइनस टू प्लस माइनस स्केयर रूट ऑफ टू स्केयर this two square equals to 4 minus this is 4 times of 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications uh, and here you see in the uh, this is square root term uh, so here we have this 4 be the common term and it will be written as minus 2 plus minus uh, Square root of here we take common four and it will be written as one minus four divided by two. And now in the next step, uh, here we need more simplifications and we write it as t is equal to uh, minus two plus minus square root of four times of. Uh, This is one minus four and one minus four equals to minus three and it is divided by two. And now here in the next step, uh, we just break this square root sign and we will apply this square root separately on both of these terms. And it will be written as minus two plus minus square root of four into square root of minus three divided by two. So further in the next step, we need more simplifications, and it will be written as minus two plus minus. This is the square root of four equals to two. And here we know that if you have negative sign inside the square root, it will becomes iota. And we will write three as square root of three into iota, and it is divided by two. So now here in the next step, we will break uh, this fraction, and we can. Uh, write these two separately on both of these terms, and it will be written as minus two over two, and plus minus two times of square root of three iota, and it is divided by two. And now here in the next step, uh, we need more simplifications, and it will be written as t is equals to this two is cancelled out by this two, and we get this minus one plus minus. This two is cancelled out by this two, and we get the square root of three into iota. So this is the two complex roots of the given equation, and we have the only one real root of the given equation r t is equals to two. So this is the our final answer of this question, in which we have the two complex root, and one is the real root of the given given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos